What is going on world? Today we're here to talk about that Godox SL60W. Here we have it. It's the SL60W. W standing for white, which is, you know, daylight. All right, so I've had numerous Godox products and they have never let me down. So I've heard nothing but good things about this light. The only thing that I've heard was there's some flickering. Uh, depending on a certain shutter speed and whatnot. I mean, we're gonna test that out. Uh, so this is supposed to be comparable to the Aperture 120D. Not as bright, but all right, so we're not here to do a comparison. We're just here to see if this light is good enough. All right, here we have the power cord. All right, so here we have it. It's the Godox SL60W. So it is a Bowens mount. I do have a Bowens mount uh, softbox that we're gonna attach this to. Uh, to diffuse it a bit all right so it does feel pretty nice so i've had something similar to like this the godox ad 600 uh, which has a battery pack in the back this doesn't the only way it powers is through a power cable but for 140 bucks i mean can't complain all right, so this is just one giant led also comes with a remote control i mean honestly i've heard nothing but bad things about this i guess it's not synced up with whatever the settings are on the unit itself all right so i'm just gonna grab my tripod and the softbox All right, so my short answer for what do I think about this light? Love this light. I mean, I think it works pretty great. And for the $140 price tag, I'm like, you can't go wrong, $140. So there are a few downfalls to this light. Um, of course, you're not gonna get everything for the price tag uh, comparable to, you know, other lights out there. One, the fan noise is pretty noticeable. Although this light is pretty bright, it's obviously not as bright as the Aperture 120D. I've dealt with the Aperture 120D, so I can definitely tell the difference. But I'm gonna tell you one thing, this is definitely gonna get the job done. Um, especially like if you're on a on a budget where you know, you'd know you rather invest in you know other things such as like lenses and stuff like that. I mean, again, you can't go wrong. But overall, I freaking love this light. I'm actually gonna order a few more just to have. I know they have a battery powered one, which is uh, gonna be more expensive, where you don't have to just rely on the power cord. Um, I actually use this for a music video. I'm gonna show you some examples. Um, I ended up hooking this up to a adapter to my vehicle. Uh, it was a nighttime shoot, um, but it definitely worked out. So here we tested it with uh, 120 frames per second, 60 frames per second, and 24 frames per second. Uh, I got no flicker whatsoever. Um, of course, that's using the 180 shutter rule. Make sure you set it to 5600 Kelvins. That's gonna allow you to go to 10%. The only thing about this is it takes a long time to get from 100 to 10%. So literally hold it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, guys. Peace.